Meanwhile, some people in the city of Roanoke are upset about a recent incident. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez is live at the Roanoke City Jail with what one local woman wants to see change. Tommy. We talked to Natasha Harper. She's led many protests here outside the Roanoke City Jail. She knows firsthand how devastating it is for a loved one to take their own life inside. And she is upset. She hated to hear that another person may have taken their own life here late last week. Natasha Harper has been voicing concerns about the Roanoke City Jail for more than two years. Her stepson, 22-year-old Clifton Harper, committed suicide in the jail in 2015. Aaron Wheaton died Thursday night after deputies found him hanging in his cell. He'd only been there for four days and was being held for trespassing and disobeying a court order. It's very frustrating. It's outraging and most importantly, it's heartbreaking. Harper says the focus should be on getting inmates more and quicker access to mental health resources. We're supposed to trust uh, Tim Allen and, and his deputies and the jail. To, to do their job, but we don't see the results that they tell us that we're going to see. The apparent suicide is the seventh in five years at the jail, the second this year. The jail now has a suicide rate about five to six times higher than the national average, according to the most recently available statistics. Sheriff Tim Allen declined when we asked to interview him for this story, but we know the jail got a new specialty unit last year focusing on mental health, and Allen has said, Every inmate undergoes risk assessment. More than a quarter of a million dollars has been invested into upgrading surveillance, and there's increased staff to monitor the cameras. Harper says these tragedies are happening too often. Knowing what that's like as a family member who's lost a child um, in that jail, it, it's, heart, it's heartbreaking. Harper helped create a bail fund to help local families post bond. She says she wants to go to city leaders now and ask them if they want to take action to improve conditions. Live in Roanoke, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.